I think people probably don't realize that it's like surprisingly large. Almost up to the Finger Lakes, like in New York, much of Pennsylvania, the streams and rivers flowing by their houses are going into the Chesapeake Bay. So a lot of people who aren't thinking about the Chesapeake Bay are really in the midst of it. Really going back to like the 1950s, 1960s, as the farms were getting built up around the bay and as cities were getting built up around the bay, there was so much more nitrogen, phosphorus, sediment that you started to see certain species of fish, their populations going down, you're seeing seagrass that die off. There is a little bit of good news here. People have been watching the bay since the 80s, and there are little glimmers, signs that things are getting better, possibly. An interesting technique that you can see with a satellite that helps reduce pollution is something called contour plowing. If you're a farmer, you could plow your crops in just straight lines, but if you actually follow the contour of the landscape, they look really neat from space, but the, they're relevant here because they sort of help reduce erosion. They make it a little harder for sediment to rush off the field in the midst of a, a storm. By going up in the air, and you can see so much more at once, you can get a much better feel for some of the big picture trends of what's happening. We'll be able to see if these efforts we're making, you know, whether it's putting a green roof on or changing the way farmers are farming, whether these things are actually working. <laughs>